in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for your protection over us throughout the night. We thank you for this new day which you have given to us gratuitously. We pray you to bless us as we go through it. May all we shall be doing today, may all we shall be saying today, give you honor and glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, we have the privilege of having yet another new day. A new day given to you and I gratuitously. None of us merits this new day. If we look at it from this point of view, therefore, we will remain grateful because we do not merit it. God is giving it to us just like that, out of love, out of mercy. The topic we want to take a look at this morning is taking the form of a question. Is this your home or your house? Which is it? A house is just a building with rooms. And then uh, people go in and come out. That's a house. A home. To talk of a home demands a lot. The husband, the wife, children. Father, mother, and children living in harmony with God at the center. You could see love radiating. You could see understanding clearly shown. That is a home. Have you a house or a home? It becomes pathetic if where families live do not go beyond just houses. You can get a husband and wife who go in to sleep after the day's work, wake up to separate again, and to come back at best, they are co-tenants, but not a family. They hardly talk together, no sharing. When you have a situation like that, when you have a situation like that, certainly unacceptable. Where children are afraid even to go home. The wife is afraid to go home. When something like that happens, therefore, for God's sake, in fact, that building should be demolished. It's not fulfilling its role. That building should be demolished. It has no value. If that building is to have the value, it is the human beings inside it that will give it the value, the required value. For a house to become a home, you will see, people have, in it have to cultivate love. People in it must cultivate understanding. People in it must cultivate accommodation. People in it must cultivate togetherness. People in it must go gravitating around God, who is their creator and sustainer. Before anything is done, you see God first before whoever you are going to do the thing to. In other words, you learn to filter even your thought and your actions through God to reach others around you. When we do it that way, then we are beginning to form a home. We need a home. My friend, have you greeted your spouse this morning? 
have you shared opinions as to what you intend to do today? Any sharing? Or you simply just woke up and everybody to his or her way? Then you are running a house, not a home. But God wants you to run a home. God wants you to run a home. Even when your children go out from this house this morning, they want to be eager to come back. Why? Because they are returning to a home where there is love, where there is understanding, where there is accommodation. If your children don't have accommodation anymore in your house, for God's sake, you have no right to call it a home. And anytime they are coming home, or they are coming to the house, it is like, oh God, again? They are in school. It is like, may the school not end. Why? Because they are afraid to come home. When that happens to your children, watch out. You are running a house, not a home. If your wife is afraid to come back home, husband, you are running a house, not a home. If your husband, while going to work, prefers to carry spare shirt, spare trouser, to go to work, it's already a sign that you have no home. Wife, you are running a house. Your husband finishes in the office, wants to change to another clothes, to other clothes, and remain in the office. And we then tell you, well, work today is demanding. Work is demanding. <laughs> it is not work. The, the situation in the house is demanding, and they can no longer cope. So he prefers to remain in the office. When that happens, oh wife, watch it. You are not running a home, you are running a house. Well, let us pray. God, our Father, your children want to run homes, not houses. We pray you for the gift necessary to run homes. May they spend today running their homes. And as they finish today at their various working places, may you bring them home. May their homes be wonderful. May their homes be worthy of your name. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.